Shabbat Shalom and welcome everyone to our afternoon service. We are so excited to be able to celebrate a bar mitzvah on the Sabbath in our sanctuary. Not only that, but it is an absolutely terrific young man from a terrific family, as you all know. So we're just so thrilled at Mikveh Israel to be able to be here as Liv Rotker leads his service as he becomes a bar mitzvah. So mazel tov to the family. Mazel tov to the family here and friends here and those who are watching virtually and of course members of our community are watching virtually. We could not be more excited. So before we begin our service though, I'm going to invite Bobby and Amy to come on up as they're going to present Liv with his talis, his prayer shawl. We appreciate all the patience you've all shown over the last year and a half and postponing time and again this celebration, so we're excited. We're going to be using the Sinai Prayer Book Revised. If you don't have one, you can get one at the back of the room. And as many of you know from last night, Liv is not only going to lead uh, the portion where he reads from the Torah, but he's going to lead pretty much the entire service. So it's a pleasure to invite Liv to come up as we turn to page 129 for Hine Matov, and I invite everyone to please rise. Hine Matov Manai, Shevachim Gamyacha. Hine Matov Manai, Shevachim Gamyacha. Hine mata shaverachim gam yachar. Hine mata shaverachim gam yachar. Hine mata umanai shaverachim gam yachar. Hine mata umanai. Please be seated. The, the synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel, born out of our longing to feel God's nearness. It has been to the Jewish people throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast, it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be a house of prayer for all people. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, all who seek the eternal, find God here and here find life. Please turn to page 131. These are the obligations without measure whose reward is beyond measure. 
to honor father and mother, to perform acts of love and kindness, to enrich our knowledge every day, to welcome the stranger, to visit the sick, to rejoice with loving partners and good friends, to console the bereaved, to pray with sincerity, to make peace where there is strife, and the study of Torah is equal to the Maw because it leads to the Maw. The Barakhut is found on page 133. Please rise. Barakhut et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Hamevorach Le'olam Va'ed Hamevorach Hamevorach Le'olam Va'ed We praise you, God, creator of the universe. We are grateful for this new day, for morning sun and evening star, for flowering trees and flowing tides, for life-giving rains and cooling breezes, for the earth's constant turning, the changing seasons, the cycle of growth and decay, of life and death. How miraculous are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. The heavens declare your glory. The earth reveals your creative power. You form light and darkness, ordain good out of evil, bring harmony into nature and peace to the human heart. Great has been your love for us and your compassion boundless. Our ancestors put their trust in you as they learn the laws of life. Be gracious to us that we may understand and fulfill the teachings live by you. Line our eyes through the Torah that we may live by your commandments. Unite our hearts in love and reverence. We trust in you and rejoice in your guiding power. For from you comes our help. You have called us and drawn us near to you to serve you in faithfulness. Joyfully, we lift up our voices and proclaim your unity. We praise you, for in love you have called upon our people of Israel to serve you. The Shema is found on page 137. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Please be seated. Le'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Be'echol levavacha U'echol nafshecha U'echol meotecha V'hayu Hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi metalecha Hayom ovavecha Vashinatam levanecha Vidi bar taban Bevshitacha bevetecha Uvletacha vaderech Ushat becha uvkumecha Ukshar tamayot ayadecha Vahayuletetafot benenecha Utatam amizot betecha Uvisharecha Lamanti skaru Vasi tem et kol mitzvotai Yitem kadoshim lehechem Ani Adonai lehechem Asher hote tiechem Meret mitzrayim Uyot lachem lelohim Ani Adonai lehechem you shall love the eternal God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be a symbol before your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house, and on your gates, that you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy to your God. The Eternal One led you out of your Egypt to be your God. The Eternal One alone is your God. All this we hold to be true and sure. The Eternal One alone is our God, and there is none else. 
Through God's power alone has our people Israel been redeemed from the hand of oppressors. Great deeds God has wrought on our behalf, and wonders without number. The Eternal One has kept us in life, and has not let our people's footsteps falter. God was with us during the long years of oppression. Our faith sustained us, even when our people suffered the deepest anguish. And now that we live in this land of freedom, may we continue to be faithful to God and the teachings of Torah. May the Eternal One's way guide the lives of all people and unite our hearts in peace. O God, our refuge and our hope, we sing your praise as did our people in ancient days. Bamida is found on page 142. Please rise. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Velohei Avotinu Vimoteinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Velohei Yaakov Elohei Sara Elohei Rivka Elohei Velohei Rachel Ha El Hagadol Vagibor Vanara El Elyon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vikone Hako Vizokher Haste Abu Vimahot Ume Vigual of Nevenehem Laman Shema Bava Mela Hazir Mashia Magin Bara Hatadunai Magin Abraham Bezrat Sarah Atagi Bora Lamadunai Nechaya Kotara Lahoshia Necha kil chayim bechesed, Necha yeha kober rachamim rabi, So mech nochlim verofe cholim, Uma tirasarim, Uma kayer emunato, Lishe neyafar, Micha mucha bagirub, Umidamelach, Melech may meet Umachaye, Umat Miach Yeshua, Venemana Talachaye Tako, Barachat Adonai, Mechaye Hako. We now return to the top of page 142 and read together. We praise you, God of our mothers and fathers, God of Abraham, God of Sarah, God of all generations. You bestow loving kindness on all your people. You remember the devotion of those who came before us. As you guided our ancestors with love, you offer a hope to us, their descendants. You are our creator and helper, our guide and protector. We praise you, eternal God, shield of Abraham and help of Sarah. Infinite is your power, O God. Great is your gift of life. In loving kindness, you sustain the world. Through the endless flow of your blessings, you preserve all of creation. You uphold the falling and heal the sick. Free the captive and keep faith of your people as death as in life. Who is like you, author of life and death? We praise you, God, the source of the eternal one. Ki shem shmakti shimo to bishme marem kaka tu aya niviecha vikara ze ze ve amar kadosh 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 adonai teva od mela ho ha aretz kevo do adir adirenu adonai adirenu my dear Shemacha Bracho Haaret, Baruch Kevod Adonai, Mim Kamom. Echai Hu Eloheinu, Hu Avinu Hu Makeinu, Hu Moshienu Vehu Yashmienu, Baruch Amaleinu Chol 
Please be seated and please turn to page 146. Our God and God of the ages, grant that our worship on the Shabbat may be acceptable to you. Sanctify us through your commandments that the serenity of Shabbat may enter our lives. Teach us to be satisfied with the gifts of your goodness and grateful to rejoice in all that you bestow. Purify our hearts that we may serve you in truth. Inspire us to preserve Shabbat as our heritage. May it ever bring rest and joy, peace and comfort to our homes. We praise you, God, who sanctifies the Sabbath. Page 147. Look with favor upon us, and may our service be acceptable to you. We praise you, whom alone we serve in reverence. Page 148. We gratefully acknowledge that the eternal God is our creator and preserver, the rock of our life and the shield of our help. We thank God and sing praises for the gift of life itself, for our souls that are in ever in God's keeping, for the signs of our Creator's presence that we encounter every day, and for God's wondrous gifts at all times, morning, noon, and night. Truly, our blessings are without end, and God's loving kindness never ceases. Therefore, do we forever put our trust in the Eternal One. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O Eternal Source of Peace and enable our people Israel to be its messenger to all the world. Bless our country, that it may ever be a pursuer of peace and its advocate in the Council of Nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes, strengthen the bonds of friendship and harmony among the inhabitants of all lands, plant virtue in every soul, and may our love for you hallow every home and every heart. We praise you, O God, giver of peace. Amen. now a pleasure to invite up Liv's cousin Layla Rotker as she is going to lead us in our prayer of peace in Hebrew, Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom, Tova Uvraha, Hain Vaha Sefarahamim Varahamim, Aleinu, by all call Yisrael, by all call Yisrael, call Hamim. For Heinu, Avinu, Kulanu, Kehan, Kulanu, Kehazbeor, Panecha. Sim Shalom, Tova Uvraha, Hain Vaha, Sevarahamim, Varahamim. Aleinu, by all call Yisrael, by all call Yisrael, Hamim. Ki over or panecha, natatamu. Adonai Eloheinu terchamim, va'ad chesed. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, hein va'hesed varachamim, varachamim. Aleinu, Vayal kol Yisrael, Vayal kol Yisrael, Kamim. Vetov etercha lavarvech, etamcha Yisrael. Vayal kolmim becholit uvechol, Sha'abish bishlamecha. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, Hain vacheset varachamim varachamim, Aleinu, Vayal kol Yisrael, Vayal kol Yisrael ha'amim. Baruch ha'adonai, Osei ha'shalom. We turn to page 157 for the Misha Baruch, our prayer for healing. Prayer invites God's presence to suffuse our spirits. It allows God's will to prevail in our lives. Prayer may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city. Our prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, and rebuild a weakened will. 
We pray for all people who at this hour are in sickness, in want, or in distress of body or spirit. We name in our hearts those who are near to us and in whose pain we feel pain. Let them know your help and feel your presence, realizing that they are not alone. As I look around our sanctuary, I invite you to mention the name of someone in need of healing. Together we sing Misha Berach. Misha Berach Avoteinu Mekor Habracha Limoteinu May the source of strength Who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us sing Amen. Misha Berach Imoteinu Mekor Habracha Lateinu Bless those in need of healing with a fulash lema the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Let's take a moment of silent prayer. It's now a pleasure to call up Shana Rotker, who is going to lead us in Shalom Rob, which we heard her play last night on her saxophone, and she did a beautiful job, and now we're going to hear it right after silent prayer.
Now I'm going to invite everyone to turn to page 152 as we're going to prepare to take our Torah scroll from the Ark. As many of you know, the reading of the Torah scroll, which is the first five books of the Bible, is the central focus of the service when the Bar Mitzvah leads it. But of course, we ask Liv to lead the entire service because he's extraordinary, as we know as his whole family. Then he'll read from a section from the rest of the Bible called the Haftorah, which is the additional part, and he'll give a speech based upon his view of a section of the Torah portion he read. So we're going to go to page 152 as we're going to take the scroll out. Again, it's the five books of Moses, the first five books of the Bible in scroll form. Page 152. I'm going to invite everyone to please rise. And it's a pleasure to invite up cousins Layla and Haley Rotker, along with Grandpa Ron and Bernard Altman, Papa Paul and Grandma Fran Winfrey, and Bobby and Amy. As after we take out the Torah, we will pass it, and we'll show you how that works in just a moment. It shall come to pass in the end of days that the mountain of God's house shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the eternal, to the house of the God of Jacob, that we may be taught the way, and that we may walk in God's path. For out of Zion shall go forth the Torah and the word of the Eternal One from Jerusalem. What I have in my hands is simply a Torah scroll, but we know it's much more than the words on the paper. It represents the ethical, moral, spiritual teachings that have gone down throughout the generations. What I hold in my hand is nothing less than the foundation of monotheism and the foundation for our way of life. For generations, this scroll and what is inside, the meanings behind it, have been passed down from generation to generation, from leaders to leaders, from prophets to prophets, from sages to sages, from kings to kings. However, we understand and know fully that the Torah would have been lost a long time ago if it had only been passed down from king to king or leader to leader. What we're gonna see now, what we witness firsthand is the most important passing down of this wonderful Torah, and that is through the family. Because we know everything we are in many respects is taught to us from our family who learned it from the family before them. And so here in front of friends and family, both virtually and in person, we're gonna pass down this scroll through three generations of this family, from grandparents to parents to bar mitzvah. We now turn to page 153, as Liv is going to lead us in Shema. O house of Jacob, come and let us walk by the light of the eternal God. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai. God 
And now I'm going to invite up cousins Asher and Barrett Altman as they will undress the Torah scroll. Lecha Adonai Agedu Hula Vehagevura Vehativeret Vehanetzach Vehahod Ki Chol Bashamayim Uvaretz Ki Chol Bashamayim Lecha Adonai Hamlacha Vehamit Nase Lecha Lerosh See if you give your cousin a handshake or a hug. Please be seated. This afternoon, Liv is going to be reading from the book of Deuteronomy, the second portion. For those of you new to our traditions, we take the five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and we carve it out for there's a section basically every week of the year. So every week you read a section, and he's going to read part of this section from Deuteronomy. You can find it in your program. For those of you who are watching, if you have access to a Torah or a Bible, he's going to be reading from the portion Ve'et Hanan, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verses 23 through chapter 4, 4. So 3, 23 through 4, 4. And it's our tradition to invite people up to say a prayer beforehand and a prayer afterwards so that... There's some prayer before he goes into the reading. So I'm going to invite for the first aliyahs, what we call it, Uncle Mitch and Aunt Vicki Rotker to come on up. Baruch 
You didn't hear, please give him a hug when they come down. For our second Aliyah, we're going to invite up Bobby, Amy, and Shana Rotker. Yamdu, Reuven, Yosef, Ben Ziskin, Chasa, Bat, Abraham, Lieb, Shana, Bat, Chasa, Ve, Reuven, Yosef. Amen, Yasha Koch. Now for the traditional Rotker big hug. <laughs> Great job. And for our third Aliyah, we're going to call up Uncle Ken and Aunt Judy Altman. Baruchu et Adonai Hamburak. Baruch Adonai Hamburak le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai le'olam va'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam. Asher barkabanu mikol hamim. Venatan lanu et torato. Baruch Atah Adonai noten ha-Torah. Vata Yisrael, Shama Elachim, Velhamish Patim, Asher Anuchi, Melamede Chem Wasot, Laman Tihu, Uvatim Verishtem et Aretz, Asher Adonai, Elohe Avotechem, Notem Lachem. Lo tosifu adavar asher anachi metavechem velo tigru mimenu lishmor et mitu adonai lechem asher anachi metavechem enchem avrot e asher asadonai Bava or Ki Hoha Ish Asher Halach Ahare Vapor Ishmidel 
Adonai el hecha mi kir becha. Vatem advekim badonai el hechem chaim kulchem hayam. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan matan. Torah demet, v'chaye olam natan betokenu. Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Give a yashikoach to both of them and to Lib, who's finished his Torah portion. And now we're going to invite Ken to remain up here as he's going to read the Torah portion in English. I entreated the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you've begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For who is like God in heaven or on earth? Who can do as your deeds and your might? Pray, let me cross over and see the good land that's on the other side of the Jordan, this good mountain and the Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me, because you, and he didn't listen to me. And the Lord said to me, it's enough for you. Speak to me no more regarding this matter. Go up to the top of the hill and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward and see with your eyes, for you shall not cross the Jordan. But command Joshua and strengthen him and encourage him, for he will cross over before this people, and he will make them inherit the land for which you see. And we abided in the valley opposite Beth Peor. And now, O Israel, hearken to the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you to do, in order that you may live and go and, and possess the land for which the Lord God of your forefathers has given you. Do not add to the word which I command you, nor diminish from it, to observe the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did at Baal Peor, for every man who went after Baal Peor, the Lord your God is exterminated from your midst. But you who cleave to the Lord your God are alive, all of you, this day. Yasher Koach, beautifully done. I forget, whenever you're up here, you have to speak into the mic so the people who are watching virtually can hear us. Beautifully done, beautifully done. So now I'm going to invite up cousins Asher and Barrett Altman as they're going to help us stress the Torah as I'm going to invite everyone to please rise. These are the words passed down by our prophets to the people of Israel. Lezot HaTorah, Asher Samoshe, Lefne Bnei Yisrael, Odi Adonai, Liyad Moshe. Please be seated. Now we come to the additional reading from our Torah service. This again is from another book in the Bible. It's not from the Torah, the first five books, but from the second section called the Prophets. 
Liv is going to be reading, of course, from the book of Isaiah, and you can find it in your program as well. He's going to read verses, chapter 40, verses 1 through 8. He'll also chant a prayer before and afterwards. Again, Isaiah 41 through 8. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Benvim Tovim Viratza Vidirehem Hanem Arim Be'emet Baruch Atah Adonai Habrucher Batara Ibmashe Avdo Yisrael Amo Uvin Veha Emet Nahamu, Nahamu, Ami, Yomar, Elohechem, Dabaru, Alevru, Shalain, Bekiru, Eleha, Ki Mala, Teva, Ki Nirta. Avuna ki lachaka miyar adunai ki flaim bechuchatu teha kol kore bad mid bar panu derech adunai yasharu barava misila leloheinu kol ge inase. Bohar Vagiva Yish Palu Bhaya Hakov Lamishor Bahar Hasim Lavika Benigla Kivoda Donai Rau Hobasar Yaktav Ki Pia Donai Di Bear Ko Omer Kara Yamar Maekra Kol Habasar Khatir Ko Hasto Ketita Sade Yavesh Khatir Navyotit Ki Rua Kharnai Nasheva Bo Achain Khatir Ha'am Yavesh Khatir Navyotit Udvar Lohenu Yakule Lam Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Tzur Kol Hamim Tadik Bukhod Arod Ha'el Hanemon Ha'mer Rose Ha'mdabirim Chayim Shechol Devara Emet Vatzedek Al Hatara Val Havuda Val Hanuvim Val Yim Hashabat Hazeh Shana Tatalanu Adonai Eloheinu Likdusha Unicha Lechavod Al Tifaret Halako or a Nile Hainu, a Nakni Munim Lah, and Rahimo Tah, Yiparak Shemcha Befi Kohai, Tami Lilava E. Barahata or a Nai, Mekade Shashabat. Amen. As I mentioned before, along with the leading of the service, the Torah and the Haftor portion, we're asking Liv to give a sermon of sorts, as we call in Hebrew, Devar, on the portion itself. And he's worked really hard and written a beautiful one, so now I'm gonna invite him up to share it with everyone. When I was in first grade, I was talking a lot in class to another student. The teacher told me to be quiet. I didn't listen, so I had to fill out a form stating what I did wrong. The form had to be signed at the bottom by the teacher, me, and my parent. I signed my name, but I also signed my dad's name. When my teacher said, this is not your dad's handwriting, I said, yes it is, but he was in a rush to go to work. The reason my teacher knew I was lying was because I misspelled my dad's name as B-O-B-Y. I had consequences at home and in school for not listening and lying. 
In this week's Torah portion, Moses tells the people of Israel the story of how he begged God to allow him to enter the land of Israel. But God refused, although allowing him instead to ascend a mountain and see the promised land that was on the other side of the Jordan River. We don't know why Moses wasn't allowed to lead the people into Israel, but it may have been because in frustration, Moses hit a rock in order to get water instead of asking the rock for water as God asked him to do. Another reason God may have refused was that Moses didn't listen to God when asked to do another task. Even though God forgave Moses for his mistakes, he still had the punishment of never going into the land of Israel. If Moses had consequences for his actions, then we definitely have consequences for our actions. If I steal money from a friend and he finds out and tells his parents, even though I apologize, his parents may not let him hang out with me for a while. We both have consequences. If someone drinks and drives and hits someone else's car, the driver might feel bad. He apologizes and his apology is accepted, but he may have to go to jail. He might have his license suspended and he'll have to pay for the damages. He's a super nice guy, but he still has consequences. What if your parents haven't paid their bills because they spent all their money on a cruise? Even though they are nice people, they're gonna be charged late fees, or at worst, they may lose their house. Forgiveness is essential, but we still have consequences. I know that by deciding to lead a bar mitzvah service, I'm given the opportunity to participate in a mitzvah project. For my mitzvah project, I've joined Nuzzle Buddies, which is a program at the Humane Society where you can read to dogs so they get used to being around people. I'm also collecting donations for their thrift store, which helps support the Humane Society, as well as items that they can use for the animals. For my tzedakah project, I hope to help the Humane Society and also help the animals find new homes. I plan on donating 5% of any money that I receive from my bar mitzvah to the Humane Society. Another 5% will be donated to the Tikva Fund at Jewish Family Services. This is a permanently endowed fund for Jewish Family Services in Savannah. All donations are matched dollar for dollar. This means whatever money I donate will be multiplied by two. I now would like to thank all the people who helped me make this day possible. First, I'd like to thank all my Shalom School teachers, including Rabbi Hankin and Rabbi Haas, who have helped me learn more and more about being Jewish. Thank you, Mrs. Ava Locker, who has been an amazing principal. I'm grateful for my friends and family who are able to join me today. Some have traveled far to be here. Thank you, Mrs. Penny, for tutoring me through this pandemic. I know all of our meetings have been in Zoom, but at least we are together in person today. I'm thankful for my sister, Shana. She attends my soccer and basketball games, as well as my cross country meets. She's a big help when we cook dinner. Finally, I wanna say thank you to my parents for always being there for me. They have been there for me forever. Now that, now that I'm 13 and I'm Jewish, I've had my bar mitzvah. That is basically saying that I'm now a Jewish adult feels good because I'll have my own responsibilities. As a Jewish adult, I'll be spending more time praying during holidays and fasting during Yom Kippur, as long as I don't faint. <laughs> when I have my own family, I'll re be responsible for celebrating Shabbat every week. I'll also make sure my family attends Sunday school and temple regularly. I'm thankful for being raised in a Jewish family, and I'm looking forward to becoming a productive Jewish adult. Shabbat Shalom. We're going to call him the Iceman. Never makes a mistake, always on target. Well, everyone here is so impressed with you and so proud of you. Obviously, the most impressed and the proudest people are your grandparents. However, we're now going to invite your parents who'd like to speak with you as I invite both Amy and Bobby up. moment one, you have always been special. Your due date was September 11th. As you know, this was also the date you were born. We wanted to come up with a special name for our boy who was born on this sacred day. 
We decided to name you after your paternal grandma, Liban. But we were having a tough time coming up with a boy's name, with a boy's L name. When your mama was about five months pregnant, we heard about the horrific massacre at Virginia Tech. We also heard about a professor named Liviu Labresco, who became a hero that day. Professor Labresco was a Holocaust survivor from Romania. When he heard the gunshots at the university, he barricaded the door to his room with his body. He told his students to jump out the window. He saved many lives that day. But unfortunately, he lost his own. We decided to name you Liv after Liviu Labresco. After your birth, I was able to connect with Liviu's wife, Mari Elena. She was deeply touched when I explained how we came up with your name. I told her that I hoped someday. <laughs> that you would grow up with some of the same character traits that Libby you had. It's hard to see through tears. <laughs> I also told her that I thought her husband was a hero. The following is an excerpt from her email. All I can say is that Libby you was a great human being, a wonderful husband and father, A hard worker, a great character that liked everything nice in this world, to speak nice, to hear nice music, to read nice books, that can enrich the knowledge and spirit. He never accepted compromise and always respected everyone. In my view, Liviu was not a hero. He loved his students so much that in the midst of the tragedy, his wish was only to help these kids to survive, as he would have done for his own. I wish from all my heart that Liv will have the same wonderful characteristics and to be at a higher level than Libby Yu made it to. After the incident, Mari Elena left Virginia and moved to Israel to be with family. We did stay in touch, for, and for Liv's first Hanukkah, she sent a menorah which has doves on it from Israel. I sent her photos of Liv on occasion. I always wanted to get to Israel to meet her in person, but sadly, she died a few years before I could make the trip. Your Hebrew name, Lev, means heart. You look after your many friends, smaller children, your big sister, Shana, and your little brother, Walter the dog. <laughs> We've seen this many times, thus proving your heart is huge. Liv, your Jewish education started when, we were when you were very young. We read prayers, sang Jewish songs, and did our best to raise you in a loving Jewish environment. You have always made us proud, and the comments from all your teachers and Rabbi Haas reinforced our beliefs that you are an amazing young man. You've always been a fun-loving boy who loves to laugh and make others laugh as well. Others love being around you, and you have many longtime friends. You share your joy in many ways, including singing the most heartfelt version of Dawson's Creek. It's so beautiful. You do quite well in both Sunday school and secular school. Your teachers are fond of you and always have been through the years at Mikvah Israel and Charles Ellis. Just please don't forge my name again like you did when you were six. The punishment will be much worse now. <laughs> Comments we regularly hear about you are about how you're such a good boy. You are. And now we are proud to say that you're a good man. You are sensitive and truly care about others. You're a great human being and a hard worker with a strong character who likes everything nice in this world. You have lived up to your namesake, and we know that one day you'll be a wonderful husband and father as well. Live your mensch in the truest sense of the word. We are so thankful to be your parents, and we are looking forward to seeing what amazing things you do with your life. Continue on your path, and you will always make us proud. We love you dearly.
invite Bobby to come back up and Amy to come back up and Liv to come over here. We're not finished. I'm going to have you stand right here. I'm going to have your mom put your hand, her hand on one shoulder and your dad on the other. What we're going to do now is bestow upon this the newest member of the Jewish adult world. The oldest Jewish blessing called the priestly benediction comes from the book of Numbers, and we have been giving this blessing for celebrations for at least 3,000 years. Yivarech Adonai v'yishmerecha, may God bless you and protect you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'yihunecha, may the source of God's mercy shine upon you. Yisad Adonai panav elecha v'yosem lecha shom. May God grant you the greatest gift of all, the gift of peace today with your family and your family in the future as we say amen. amen. You guys can do one more hug if you want. <laughs> do I hug? <laughs> So we are very proud, obviously, the Rocker family's been such an important part of our community for so long. I've seen Liv grow from this high to this high just in the last six months, basically. <laughs> and uh, he always, he follows the rules so well. I basically said, if you're taller than me by the time you're bar mitzvah, you're not having a bar mitzvah. He's about a third of an inch shorter than me still. But I think we all know what a tremendous person he is, as we mentioned last night. He is very aware of who he is and his responsibilities at an age that he probably shouldn't be already. Even when writing the speech, it was not only about consequences, but he himself took it upon himself to write the section about his responsibilities to the future generations, his children, his children's children. And I think we understand what type of character he has, and it comes, of course, from all of you. Certainly directly from his parents, grandparents, but really all of you. It takes a village, and this is what the village has done. We are so very proud of you, not because of your success here, which was brilliant, but because of the person you are and the man we all believe you are going to be. The simple idea that you know it's your responsibility to take the consequences and learn from them as you grow, but not only that, that in the future you'll be doing the same, but not only that, that you will be teaching your children in the same way that your parents have taught you and your grandchildren, hopefully maybe, God willing, great-grandchildren. So we are beyond impressed with you. You know how much we appreciate your family, you're good friends with my family, and they just want to send all the best, especially my son. He doesn't talk yet, but he did say to send his best to you. So again, mazel tov, we could not be more thrilled. And personally, I'm looking forward to working with you with confirmation. I got to work with your sister, went through it, and now get to you. I did a little bit of you because you kind of moved up, but we're looking forward to it. And again, this whole community is so proud of this family. We know we would love to have everybody here on a Saturday morning, but we also know that was not possible. And so it was really impressive how you were willing to postpone it and postpone it and kept saying, no, I want my family here and maybe a few friends until we finally got that approved by the board. And this bar mitzvah was one of the reasons we did for Friday night and for also personal bar mitzvahs. So mazel tov to you. I'm just telling you how proud I am. I'm going to invite up our president, our partner, seat, Leslie Westmoreland, who's going to talk about how proud the community is, not just our community, but the wider Savannah Jewish community. Thank you, Rabbi. Liv, it's my pleasure to be up here with you and to celebrate with your family and friends. And what a wonderful reason for us all to be gathering in the sanctuary when it's been so long that we haven't been gathering in the sanctuary. So I am. I am just so excited, and you, Rabbi's right, you knocked it out of the park. You could not have done a more beautiful job last night or today, and those words you spoke about consequences and responsibility, if everyone in our world took those to heart, what a wonderful place we would live in. So, so I just think you, you spoke to all of us and to the people listening um, who couldn't be here today and, and did such an amazing job. And I not only get to bring 
good wishes and mazel tov from me personally, but I get to do it from lots of other people too. So from Shalom School, where you have gone for, for years and years, and, and Miss Penny, I know it has been one of your teachers, and you spoke about Miss Locker and, and all of the Shalom School teachers. So down here, there is a bunch of gifts. So we'll just get them out so everybody can see. I think this might be from Shalom School. And it's a yad, it's a pointer. So our hope is that you'll come back and read Torah some more, okay? And this is from Federation. So you know the Jewish Federation, and it's a tzedakah box. So you talked about, and I know that your project is working with animals and, and the Humane Society and donating money there. And this is a way to help you just even when you get past your bar mitzvah and all the lovely gifts that come with bar mitzvahs, a way for you to keep saving money to give to the charities that mean the most to you. Um, okay, this is from the Sisterhood, and I believe it's a Kiddush cup. So you can celebrate Shabbat every week. And I think we're about done, but not, well, not quite. Okay, this is from the Public Worship Committee, and I have to be honest, I haven't a clue what it is. So there you go, you get a surprise on that one, but I know it will be something to help you celebrate. And this is your own Tanakh from the congregation. So anyway, it's such a pleasure to be here with you, and I know it's so I'll just sort of, there we go, and Mazel Tov to you, and Mazel Tov to your family. Thank you, Leslie. We're going to put this back now. Oh, no, this is what you're supposed to do. I put it back. Oops. I didn't say I put it back well. I'll let Liv do it. He's a man now. And as for what the worship committee gave him, and let me show him this. This is a new thing. It is car keys for the new car we got him. Um, we're also paying for his insurance for the next four years because our congregation goes all the way. I'm sure everyone here has a congregation that does the same thing for them. We're also paying for his college tuition and graduate school tuition, but some congregations go all the way and help out, and we know some do not. So I'm gonna invite Liv to take a seat now as we're gonna bring him up in a moment to conclude the service. Before that, I'm gonna invite up two wonderful members of the family as they're gonna do readings. I'm gonna invite cousins Tracy Hyatt and Julie, I forgot to ask how to pronounce his name, Giles? Julie Giles, is that right? All right, perfect. And Tante Zita and Ace Prince as they're gonna read the prayer for the country. So I'm gonna invite all of you to come up right now. I'm gonna invite the two of you to come up here now and the two of you to sit down right here as you'll wait and do it right afterwards. I need glasses not to read, so I just got to bear with me. Oh, these are my driving glasses. What am I doing? I need my reading glasses. Give me a second. I think I have those here. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. All right. Let's start together. God. God bless this land, land and all to have this, this, this land, this land built, built on, on foundations we, we make all our own. Christ to law and freedom, to equality well, and harmony, uh, haven for the humble uh, masses, yearning to breathe free, rich in opportunity, beneficiary of our talents and our devotion. In this hour of thanksgiving, when we are... Uh, when our yeah, hearts overflow with gratitude for richness of your bounty and your favor, <laughs> we humbly confess, O oh God, in the pride of our achievement, of our power and, and wealth, wealth we are all free too frequently free. become arrogant. We avert our eyes and harden our hearts. We are, we are insensitive to the pain and forgotten, multitudes excluded from the American dream. Many of our brothers and sisters, Americans all, are still victims of prejudice, suffer, deprivation, opportunity, equality, justice, are for them, even after two centuries, still only distant dreams. Help us. Help us, O oh God, to fulfill the promise of America, that we hold our land true to its traditions, renew in all of us the zeal for justice, awaken with us compassion, mercy for the hungry and the homeless, so we may enter upon a future with restored vision, 
and dedicated her first to proud destiny. We, did a, we did a good job. <laughs> Off. <laughs> for the state of Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. O heavenly one, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Now, mazel tov again to the family and to Liv, who did such a beautiful job. We're going to return to our prayer books now as we're going to conclude our service. I'm going to invite everyone to turn to page 158 as we prepare to return the Torah scroll to the ark, page 158, as I'm going to invite everyone to please rise. Extol the Eternal One with me, and let us exalt God's presence together. Page 159, behold, a good doctrine has been given you, guard it well. It is a tree of life to those who hold it fast, and all who cling to it find happiness. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. It's found on page 368. Let us adore the ever-living God. We offer praise unto you. You have spread out the heavens and established the earth. Your glory is revealed in the heavens above, and your greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God. There is none else. We bow our heads in reverence before the Eternal One, source of all life. Please be seated. May the time not be distant, O God, when you shall be worshipped throughout the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. 
Fervently, we pray that the day may come when all people shall be guided by your teachings. Corruption and evil shall give way to purity and goodness. Superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. Then all who dwell on earth shall know that to you alone and every knee shall bend and every voice give praise. May all created in your image recognize that we are brothers and sisters, so that one in spirit and one in harmony, we may be forever united before you. Then shall your reign be established on earth, and the word of your ancient prophet be fulfilled. The eternal God will reign forever and ever. On that day, the eternal shall be one, and God's name shall be one. Bayom ha-hu, bayom ha-hu, Adonai echad. Ushamo, Ushamo, Ushamo echad. Page 374. At this time, we prepare for Kaddish, which is the prayer we say in honor of those who have died before us. Our thoughts now turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, the six million who perished in the Shoah, and those of every race, nation, and faith whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. Today, we take a moment to honor the memory of all of those family members of Lives who are no longer here with us. They all continue to inspire him through the acts they created and did during this time they lived on this planet. He knew some of them, he didn't know most of them, but all of them have helped make him the person he is today. Does anybody else have the name of someone they'd like to add? The Kaddish praise is found on page 375, as I invite all who would like to please rise. Yitkadal, the Yitkadash, Shumei Rabbah, the Alma, the Rah Hirute, the Amlich Malchute, the Chayachon of Yomechon, the Chayacho, Beit Yisrael, La Gala of Isman Kari, the Amru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabbah, Mivarach, the Alamo Meo Maya, Yit Barach, Vishtabach, Vipar, Vitromam, Vitnase, Yit Adar, Vitalev, Vitalal, Shme the Kudisha, Brechu, Leila, Minkober, Chata, Vishirata, Tush bechata v'nechemata, damiram b'elma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayi malenu v'elcho Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mrumav, hui ase shalom, alenu v'elcho Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to the bereaved among us as together we say amen. Please be seated. Now, before we conclude our service, we have a ceremony or two still to perform. So I'm going to invite anyone who is passing out the candy to pass out the candy now. It is not to be eaten in our sanctuary, just to let you know, unless, of course, you would like to donate a significant amount to a new rug for our sanctuary, but you still can do anyway. The building fund is there for you. So what we're gonna do is uh, Shana and her cousin, which cousin is this? Haley. Haley. Uh, Shana and Haley are gonna pass out candy. And what we're gonna do is in a moment, I'm gonna invite Liv to come on up here and we're going to throw it at him because part of Judaism is loving so much you're willing to injure him. It goes back a long time. So after that, I'll invite any of the younger cousins to come up and in this case, they're all much older than usual, so anybody who say who's under 18 to come up and help us clean up the mess. You can keep whatever you get. And then after we throw the candy, I'm gonna invite up Bobby and uh, Amy and Shana as we're gonna conclude with Ain Kelohenu on page 423. So now I'm gonna invite Liv to come on up, leave his book there. I'll put your book right here, I'll put it right here because you, you can't use it for protection. And then stand over here, it's a picture tallest. All right. And now, wait, when everybody gets it, please feel free, once everybody has, to go ahead and throw candy.
Well, that's not so bad. Fantastic. Oh no, EJ. Oh. <laughs> I see we have a lot of baseball executives here and no actual pitchers. So now I'm going to invite all of the cousins 18 and under to come and pick up the candy as we're going to invite Bobby and Amy and Shana to come up as we're going to conclude with Ain Kelohenu. Page 423, as I invite everyone to rise. Again, if you're under the age of 18, please come and help us clean up the candy as they are going to lead us, and then at the end, we'll do mozi and kiddush. Beautifully done. Now, mazel tov again, but we're not finished. We still got to do mozi and kiddush. So I'm going to invite Bobby to take out the wine glass, which does have wine in it already. Uh, Bobby's going to let you know where this wine glass comes from. And you can take out the challah as well. Why don't you, you can put on the level thing on there right next to it. The there you go. Yep. And Dad can do the hall as well again. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to the entire family as we're so thrilled and we're so excited for them. So we're going to say Kiddush and Motsi and then we'll conclude our service. Kiddush cup is from my grandfather, Moses Rotker. And it's been at a lot of mitzvahs, a lot of simchas, and a lot of celebrations. And now we're here for Liv. Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher, Kitchen of Mitzvot, Bore priyagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher, Kitchen of Mitzvot, Baratzavanu, the Shabbat Kadsha, Biava Rasan, in Kilanu, Sikaron, the Masebere sheet, Kihuyom Tehila, the Mikrai Kodesh, Zecher the Siat, Mizraim, Kivanu Vakarta, Yotanu Kidashta, me call Hamim, the Shabbat Kachika, the Ahabahu Razon in Kaltanu, Baruch Atadonai, me Kadesh Hashabat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motzi lechem min ha-aretz. Amen. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend, and mazel tov again to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Adonai, ma'am, ha-sher ma'am, v'terem kol, v'etzir nirah, 